Balenciaga had a very busy weekend in damage control as they just issued a new statement, this time taking responsibility and accountability, definitely changing their tune when it comes to everything that's happened. Here's everything you need to know and what was said. They kicked things off saying the two campaigns reflect a series of grievous errors for which Balenciaga takes responsibility. Now this is their explanation about those plush bears. They said that gift collection campaign featured children with plush bear bags dressed in what some have labeled BDSM inspired outfits. I think it's interesting they said some have labeled. I guess they're trying to say that's not what they were, but really, what were they? They took accountability saying this was a wrong choice by Balenciaga combined with our failure in assessing and validating images. The responsibility for this lies with Balenciaga alone. No shit. Here's where things get even more interesting about those documents used in the shoot. They said it was meant to replicate a business environment and the United States vs. Williams Supreme Court ruling and all the other documents were provided by a third party that had signed in writing that all documents were fake office documents. This next part gets me really confused and I'm like how many people sat in a room trying to figure out the explanation? They said they turned out to be real legal papers likely coming from the filming of a television drama? What? They said the inclusion of these unapproved documents was the result of reckless negligence for which Balenciaga has filed a complaint. We take full accountability for our lack of oversight and control of the documents in the background and we could have done things differently. Yeah. They then go into all the different actions they're going to be taking. You can pause to read below. They then went on to say, we want to learn from our mistakes and identify ways we can contribute. Balenciaga reiterates its sincere apologies for the offense we have caused and extends its apologies to talents and partners. What do you guys make of all of this? And do you think the explanation about the children in those BDSM inspired outfits is a good enough explanation? And I don't know about you, but I want to hear from this third party that apparently put these props on set and where they actually got them from. Like, were they really from some drama film? I don't know. Let me know everything in the comment section below.